Hey, good afternoon, YouTube viewers. This is Big Bill coming to you live from Catastrophe Railroad, a.k.a. South Brooklyn Railroad. And as you can see, I have have, uh, have done some scenery work on the uh, bridge, uh, getting the bridge ready for track and, uh, and, uh, and stuff. So I've put some, some scenic down. I just poured the water today at uh, 5.35 p.m. And uh, I'm letting it set. I've come to realize, even though this is level all the way through, She's a little shallow right about there. So I have to, after it sets and dries, I got to pour a little bit more. I got to set up a dam system to get some uh, more water up in there, more uh, realistic water from uh, Woodland Scenics. That's what seems to be the problem. But she's leveling out nice and she's easy to do. I took the advice of my good friend Barry Roger and Mike Dettinger and said to go with realistic water because the other stuff stinks and if you don't get it right it cracks in the mixture so we went with this and uh, poured it out no bubbles uh, screened it out whatever it is just let it sit and dry and seems to work out pretty good I like the way it came out this is the other side of the bridge and the bridge abutment stuff we're gonna get some other details. I got some uh, good stuff ideas from Barry and Bill Gorman. Told me to put reeds in here. Uh, water reeds uh, to give it a little bit more of a watery effect. But I have, I, I'm going to do that as well. And I have some debris that I'm going to be putting down, as you can see, into this area here. And uh, also over there as well. So that that right there, that brown junk there is a weathered uh, junk pile that I put in there. Uh, and that's where we're at. Sorry for the movement of the camera so much, but it's my iPhone and I don't have that much. These are the... I, I think it came out pretty good. This is my first attempt at it. You know, I put this... Uh, I put this wood, four foot wood trestle up, and I, on the inside, I put some caulking down, clear caulking, so when I pull this away, I'll be able to strip the caulking away with it when it's thoroughly dry. So, it's not too bad. I, I like the way it's come out. I, I do. I do. I like the way it's come out. I've still got some more stuff to do on it. You know, I'm getting a hobo camp put in here and debris and stuff like that. Monsieur Debris is going in and there and some other stuff. And just to give you an idea of what I did here, see that pink foam up there? All I did was just cut that up and just lay it down. And then I took some, uh, took some plaster cloth, plaster cloth, cut it to size and just draped it right over it. And then went about scenicing it and putting some talus on it, some grocks and other stuff on it, and painted it, painted it with the gray, uh, paint, painted the white, you know, because it's all white. I painted it with the gray uh, flat paint to give it the base, and then I went and I did some uh, amp. What I have, yeah. <sighs> Raw umber, I brushed that on, and then I took some uh, black ink and some alcohol, mixed it, and just dry brushed it. You know, dipped the brush in the uh, black ink and just ran it over the top of the ridges to give it that, you know, top look, look, you know, faded, dirty industrial kind of look and then filled it in with the talus rocks medium gray and other stuff and did the same over here to the pier settings and stuff like that it's not rocket science i'll tell you that so you know it free formed it and i thank everybody for giving me some great ideas billy gorman uh barry uh troy check out their channels they got some really good stuff going on and a uh, big shout out to Walt's World. That's a new guy coming up and about. He's uh, getting back into the hobby. Walt's World. Check out his channel. Really good stuff. And Signal Fan. 
Uh, another good guy that's uh, coming up, just a few. I got to get some more names out there. I've been really terrible in, uh, in doing shout outs and getting my videos out. And I got no excuses. I got a ton of reasons, but I got no excuses for it. So please forgive me. And for all the new guys and everybody, for all the new guys that subscribe to me, everybody who subscribed to me, thank you so very, very much. I greatly appreciate it. I really do. And for you guys who are already subscribers to me, thank you so much for sticking around. You know, I know it's uh, sometimes far and few between with the videos, and I try to do my best to keep it up. But uh, this is the latest adventure of the Catastrophe Railroad, a.k.a. South Brooklyn Railroad. Poured the water today at 7.11.15 at 5.35 p.m. Supposed to wait 24 hours. It self-levels, I will tell you that, guys. I poured it right in the middle, and that bad boy just spread right out, and it's level to the front, you put the you put the uh, the four foot uh, level on here, and she's level. The bubble goes center, but apparently, when you pour that water, it comes forward, and we got a little bit of a dry spot up there. Nothing much, nothing too crazy, nothing we can't handle. But see, what gets me is that Woodland Scenics bottle, realistic water. It's twenty four dollars a pop. So that's the only thing that hesitates me to go out and buy another one just for that little spot back there. But I got to see. I got to see how my OCD kicks in. If it's bothering me that much, I'll go wait till this all dries out, comes to a clear finish, then I'll apply it. I, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, so right now, that's where we're at. And uh, that's where we're up and doing. So thank you so much for tuning in. To the Catastrophe Railroad, a.k.a. South Brooklyn Railroad, as you can see, it's all in a... Everything's all crazy, man, here on the railroad. I've been running trains, but it's been nuts, man. I've been building buildings and, and stuff like that, and it's the summertime, and got to get out and do things, and the weather's nice, and I don't want to be up in the room, and I stay up here till 4.30 in the morning sometimes working and wound up sleeping all day and my wife gets a little annoyed with me but as you can see this is what's going on we got a lot of craziness got to clean this all up okay all right so that's it for now at the uh, railroad thank you guys so much for tuning in this is big bill signing off take care god bless and i'll see you guys on the radio bye bye now Oh, one more thing. Don't forget, we got a live show coming up this Saturday night, 10 p.m. Eastern Time, 9 p.m. Central Time. We have Phil Wyman on, Phil uh, Abizio, and, uh, and uh, Mark Turner uh, on, on, the, uh, on the show this week. It's the guys that are in the process of one guy's designing a railroad, another guy's building a railroad, another guy's expanding his railroad. So tune in for that. It's going to be fun. Those guys are fun. They're new modelers, and they've been got some exciting ideas they want to share with you. And I know you guys got a ton of questions for them. So this Saturday, the 15th of August, 10 p.m. Central uh, Eastern Time, 9 p.m. Central Time, yours truly will be hosting along with Barry and all our sponsors. So tune in, okay? Take care. God bless again, and I'll see you guys on the radio. Bye-bye now.